Nintendo just fucked up. Hey guys and girls, this is GamerKiller2347. And um, in this video, I'm going to talk about a recent decision that Nintendo has made to close the 3DS and Wii U eShops. And has no plans to offer classic content in other ways. Okay, by just reading this title, uh, fuck you, Nintendo. Okay, so Nintendo has announced this continuation. Okay, so in late March 2023, they're going to discontinue it. But wait, there's more. Credit cards can no longer be used to add funds as of May 23rd, 2022. And Nintendo eShop card funds can no longer be added to eShop accounts as of August 29th, 2022. Uh, however, download codes can still be redeemed until late Mar late March 2023. So, a lot of these games are going away, and, um, this was the, the bad thing about going from, you know, the Wii U, where you've got a disc console, to, um, uh, to the Switch, with, uh, then that's a cartridge console, and of course, uh, the bad part about it is that you you can't transfer anything from Wii U. Unlike, I mean, Wii Shop Channel got, got that that got shut down in uh, 2019. But of course, I mean, you could transfer it to Wii U, and uh, and then you they still had eShop on Wii U. So that of course wasn't really. Uh, you really wouldn't lose too much of anything. This is a pretty big deal. Um, since a lot of games are going to be going away. So, and 3DS, I mean, that's a cartridge system. But I think... I think Switch cartridges are actually smaller than 3DS cartridges, though. Um, uh, yes, yeah, Switch is smaller. So here's the comparison. Uh, so that was um, that was something that they fucked up on. Uh, but yeah. Um, But yeah, it's getting discontinued. Um, okay, someone at Q and A will once it's no longer possible and all. If you're gonna make them available some other way, uh, does Nintendo have an obligation to prefer? Preserve its classic games and all. Okay, so they already do have some games available. That's that's a good thing. Like, I mean, they had that like what that those three Mario games. It was uh, 64 and uh, Sunshine and Galaxy that they did that uh, three pack of whatever whatever they end up calling it. Um, So, yeah, I say they have no, currently have no plans, uh, so, so yeah, uh, pretty bad idea. So, of course, uh, oh, they open up comments, uh, and, uh, Yeah, people don't like this. Um, so, the Video Game History Foundation called this out. 
Um, so, two thousand games are going to be are going to be affected by this. That's a lot of fucking games. That and two thousand games going away, and they got no plans to offer it. I mean. Um, your other option, I mean, they had a lot of consoles. It was like, uh, the older Nintendo consoles, and I think it was like, uh, they had some, like, Sega stuff as well. Uh, it was the, they didn't have any, uh, I know they didn't have any Saturn or Dreamcast games, but they did have Master System and Genesis And then they had, like, games from a few other consoles. So, I mean, your solution there would be to, uh, I guess you could buy some, some, like, older consoles. Uh, and, I mean, and, I mean, there, there's a used market for that. But yeah, they did this on, uh, they made an announcement of video game history. Uh, I meant to click on the actual tweet. There we go. Honestly, there should be a class action lawsuit from consumers against Nintendo for removing access. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I'm not really an, an, you know, I'm not like a huge expert on the legal system or anything. So I don't really know if that will work or not. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. Fuck Nintendo for doing this and, uh. Yeah, um, Nintendo fucked up on this, um, I mean, I mean, Switch having no, not having a disk drive, I mean, you know, that's just, I mean, it's, yeah, that is similar to the PS5 without a disk drive, and then the, uh, the, the Xbox One S. Uh, no, no, a Xbox Series S, I meant, well, that was what I meant to say, but, but yeah, um, but I mean, you know, those games can be, if you, if they're, and of course, they, your old disc games from older, uh, well, I don't think PS5 is, P PS5 is not backwards compatible, I don't, with any games. I, I don't, be from what I've heard, I don't believe it. Okay, so from what I hear, um, okay, to upgrade an eligible PS4 game, you'll need a PS5. Uh, console with the so it works looks like but not with the ps5 d digital okay so ps4 discs do work in in, in the ps5 um but i mean so the whole reason why it's um why of course this is is it with them uh you know, with there being no way to transfer, uh, I mean, maybe they could have done, like, an, an external disk drive or something for the Switch. I mean, I think maybe that would work, but, um... Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Fuck you, Nintendo. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, fam.